really determined to look more at the soils on your property, where do we go for that information? Well, years ago, we used to have published soil surveys. Soil survey report is a set of maps and a set of interpretations to help you understand the maps and help you manage your soils according to their behaviors, their characteristics, their properties. Those soil maps, those soil reports, they go through the suitabilities and limitations. What you can and cannot do with those soils, what they are good for and what they should not be used for. For agriculture, which is either row crop agriculture, forestry, uh, engineering for roads and buildings. So if you were, if you were to ask the information about, okay, well, I've got a tract of land, not only do I want to know about the tree species that should be growing out there, but what about roads and trails? That, that soil survey report has information on those roads and trails and, and what, what could and could not be built on or what they recommend. Caddo Parish, for example, when it was mapped in 1907, there was no aerial imagery. Those soil scientists were going out there, they were making a land topographical survey at the same time they were making the soils map. And without the aerial imagery, yeah, you, you've got a bit of a road map that you can see where you're going. But by the time you get to the 1940s and 1950s, well, can I get a better map here? And uh, as land use changed, they said, yeah, let's, let's, let's put the money together and let's make a better map. Let's make one that's more current. So they did. So that by 1980, Caddo Parish was remapped. So that's the second map that it had. And uh, by 2006, all the state has been mapped. Do we need an update in certain parishes? Do we need updates in certain parts of parishes? Are there problems? And yes, there are, because just like anything, nobody's 100% correct the first time it's done. So now we're in the update mode where if there's a problem area, they go in and look at that problem area, investigate it. The technology with GIS and LIDAR has really helped us to be able to focus on specific areas. And so yearly, some of these different areas are updated. But where do we have them? Can we still go get a Lincoln Parish Soil Survey report and call it current. Not anymore. So several of the books that y'all used to pick up at the ASCS office, FSA, no longer. Everything is on the internet. Just like everything else, the USDA has web soil survey now. Online, we have the official web soil survey. What I like about web soil survey you can do maps and interpretations on track-by-track -track basis. That's really great if you're a manager, if you're a consultant, if you're looking at it that way. Uh, you can make a customized report. It's, uh, you've got good explanations, excellent explanations of the different soil properties and interpretations that you're asking for. And it's all printable. It's very easy to print this out, make a report. You can print it, you can email it, that kind of thing. So it's really handy that way. Another cool tool, the Soil Web app. Okay, and it's a it's app 2.0, I think is what it is now. And it's for your smartphone. So it takes the web soil survey data, it takes the same NRCS soils data that is in the web soil survey, and it, it puts it in a little bit different application or format for your smartphone. And what I like about it is it's GPS enabled. If you have your location services on for that specific app, you can hit that app and it will pinpoint where you are and it will give you a soil map in Google Earth and you will see exactly where you're standing, the soil map for that area. And I really like it. It is really handy in the field. As long as I have cell phone reception, I can pull up that, that soil web app and get an idea of what, what's going on. Type soils. There's a line drawn around this area right through here, and that line going all the way around there means those are similar soils with similar properties, similar characteristics, similar behaviors. This is what we should expect management wise. These soils we can manage in a very similar manner. Think of soils on ridges, think of soils down on, on steeper side slopes, and soils in the drains in the bottomland. That's how we're managed, we're, we're grouping these soils, is according to their characteristics and behaviors. When you think of a soil map unit, it's a management group. And what can we do with that group of soils? How can we manage it? That soil survey report is going to give us limitations, suitabilities, 
what it can be used for, what it should not be used for, and it'll give uh, the soil properties and characteristics, physical properties, chemical properties. You know, sometimes these are these are tracks that you can only only harvest during the dry season. Well, do you have a track that has a lot of wet areas on it? Um, it may be hard to get around the entire property, and so you want to take a look at a, at a soil survey map and report before you ever go out there and look at it, so you can know where to expect some of these, these wet areas or some of these really steep areas. Drainage class is another one. Slope range, how steep uh, or low relief you've got. Uh, any, any restrictions, are there, are, is there bedrock in your area? Do you, do you have a, a formation, the rock formation that comes up almost to the surface? That may be a problem getting trees established. Erosion potential, that's a big one. And forest productivity and tree site index, those are two other management applications. Your, your consulting forester or NRCS is going to take a look at these soil maps and go, what have you got? What are you starting with?